What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, I'm going to show you guys how to clean your AC unit. It is vital for you going into the summer season uh, that you need to clean your condenser and keep it clear of all debris. It's cottonwood season. Your AC condenser is pulling in a lot of crap into the coils. I'm going to show you exactly how to clean them after a word from our sponsor. All right, now we're out here at the AC condenser. I wanted to show you guys uh, exactly what I'm talking about with cottonwood. You can see how it's starting to stack up and all this dirt starting to stack up in the condenser coil. So if you don't know anything about your AC condenser, the air has to flow in and the fan pulls it up through behind. So it's constantly pulling stuff into the fins and you need to keep the fins clean and cool uh, or clean so that they stay cool and they can properly uh, you know flow the air through them so what you're going to need for this project is some coil cleaner i picked up this non-acid uh, coil cleaner from my local uh, uh, plumbing supplier now keep in mind this stuff is very very alkaline it will burn you in a hurry um, this is made with uh, potassium hydroxide so you do not want to fool around with this stuff you need to mix it to the proper dilution rate you always need to have gloves on and safety glasses because just in case this stuff oversprays on you you want to immediately wash it off so uh, i also have a little pump sprayer this is a little 10 gallon jobby from uh, lowe's that i picked up and of course the nozzle for your hose so first things first is you want to turn the power off to the unit or basically turn the thermostat off if you're blowing this this coil cleaner in and the fan turns on it's going to blow it all over you it's going to mist it up in the air so don't be a fool turn it off and uh, do it the right way so there are tons of different products um, i used to use new bright but they didn't have that at the at the plumbing supplier i went ahead and got this um, it's essentially the same product they come in aerosols this gallon will last you a long time um, i'm going to probably mix it since my unit is not that dirty i'm probably going to mix it at about four to one so it's on the uh right there on the line between moderate cleaning and heavy duty cleaning four to one so for this, I'm going to put in a quart and then add the rest of it to a gallon piece of cake. So that way I can get four cleanings out of this gallon. You guys get what I'm saying. Um, they make it in aerosol. They make it in, uh, you can do it in a spray bottle. It doesn't matter. But uh, here you're going to watch me as I clean the condenser. You do not want to do this in direct sunlight. You want a little bit of shade because you don't want the product drying on the paint. Uh, you don't want it to eat away at your paint or bleach your unit. So there are some trouble spots here where stuff's starting to build up and some spiders are making some stuff. So I'm gonna get this cleaned out before the really, really hot months in the summer. So let's do it. All right, guys, you saw how I did that. I uh, started from the bottom and worked my way up. Now you'll start to see the foaming cleaner start foaming out. And what it does is it foams and it, it draws the dirt out of the coils. So 
you let it work for three to four minutes and then you rinse it off. So um, I'm doing one side at a time since this is a larger unit. I wanna make sure that I'm not letting it dwell too much on this side or this side. I wanna do it here. I'm gonna finish cleaning this and then uh, I, I'm, I'm going to move on to the other side. So three to four minutes, let it work, let it do its thing. You'll see it start to foam everywhere and then you can wash it off. So um, just be very thorough on washing it off. Make sure you get everything washed out. Um, I'm gonna do a time lapse through it. Um, just take the nozzle, you can use it on jet or whatever you want and just really, really rinse those fins out and you'll be able to tell when the water is blowing straight through the coils and where it's not. You'll be able to hear it hit the inside of the condenser uh, where the compressor and fan are. You'll be able to hear it hit. Um, if you don't, then dwell a little bit on there. You'll see the dirt as it rinses out. So um, I'm gonna let this dwell and then we're gonna rinse it off. All right guys, see, so when rinsing it off, um, I stayed nice and close to it, make sure I rinse it off. Now you can see straight through the coils. Um, see how clean those are? That's exactly what you want to be like. So remember, if you have a condenser that's right here by the yard um, and you're blowing yard clippings up on this every time, you really make it hard for your unit. You definitely stress your compressor because it's trying harder to cool the air. So make sure you keep your condenser cooled out or uh, cleaned out and make sure it cools the way it needs to um, in the winter and summer. All right, guys, so that was a simple do-it-yourself thing that you need to keep up with, a good preventative maintenance measure to make sure that your AC unit is running at its optimal uh, operating condition. So keep those coils clear, have a nice cool summer, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down whatever you're into.